It's snowing out, Chad. It is snowing. Yeah. yeah it a is. lot of snow. It's terrible. It is. Out here in the Midwest. Today, we have a little special uh, occasion. We know some of you guys are really concerned, and you're really worried about what we're playing. Yeah. What's in our bag? So we thought we'd take, uh, take some time out of our day, our busy day, and show you what we're working with. So yeah. we're going to go with Chad's bag in this video, and uh, up here you'll see a tag somewhere. That is a suggestion to go check out my bag in a separate video. Mm -hmm. So Chad, let's start with your big dog. All right. Uh, I'm going to start off with the, uh, with the driver that I probably had. This is probably the club that stayed in the bag almost as long as any other club that, I've, uh, that I've had. And it is the Mizuno uh, JPX 850. Uh, it is um, fully adjustable with a uh, Fujikura uh, Tour Spec shaft. I have Golf Pride multi core grips on all my clubs. And um, yeah, I love this driver. I've had it for a really long time, and it's really hard for me to find anything else to uh, replace it. Yeah, I would agree. It is probably, it's probably your second. Sturdy. Uh, Longest duration club in the bag. For sure, for sure. But I love this club. There's another driver that I might be trying out too um, as the season progresses. Uh, but yeah, I can I can almost guarantee this is going to be the bag the majority of the season. Oh, for sure. So for there sure. you go. There's a driver. Driver. JPX 850. JPX 850. And I've had the JPX 900. I had the uh, Mizuno ST 180. Um, so I've been trying like Mizuno's new drivers, but I just always go back to that one. Um, I don't know. It's like it feels good. Yeah. All right. Yep. Three wood. Three wood. So this is the this is, yep. longest running golf club that I've had in my bag. Um, it is the uh, 13 and a half degree F50. It is an old, 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 old wooden ship that was used during the Civil War era. Right. Mizuno fairway wood, but uh, I absolutely love it. Uh, again, golf pride. Uh, multi compound grip, pro launch blue uh, shaft, and uh, yeah, I love this club. I actually though, I used to hate it. I never would even like bring it with me. I never liked to hit three wood. Um, it really in any situation. And then within the last couple of years, uh, I, I, I kind of rely on yeah. it a little bit more. It's uh, the namesake club. It is. It is the uh, the name it of the the, uh, the golf channel. It's the channel. Yeah. You can't get rid of it now. Well, no. No, you can't do that. No. It'd be ridiculous. All right. <laughs> All right. All right, hybrid. Hybrid, uh, JPX 850. Uh, this is a uh, four iron replacement, uh, 22 degrees of loft. It's got uh, the Fujikura Tour Spec shaft, just like my driver. Um, Golf Pride multi-core grip. And uh, yeah, I love this hybrid. Very um, consistent. I use it, I use it a lot. I don't really like hitting it off the tee, though. I will say that. I don't hit it off the tee very often, but um, par fives, I, I like it. So it's a pretty versatile club for you yeah. outside yeah. of the tee box. For you sure. A lot of different situations. For sure. All right? All right. Irons. Irons. OK. <laughs> um, it's been a, a lovely test for you. Yeah, if you if you follow the channel at all, I think I've had four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, at least, if not more, yeah, at least if not more. four sets of irons in my golf bag this year. Not unusual for me uh, to kind of jump around a bit, but I have two sets of irons right now um, at home. These are the ones that are going to stay in the bag for the majority of the year. Fingers and, crossed. And Fingers crossed. These are the MP33 irons. I just got the two iron last week. I go two through nine iron in the J in the uh, MP33. Uh, they have uh, just your traditional dynamic gold S300 shafts. I'm putting new grips on them. They're gonna have green and black Golf Pride multi-cord. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's excited about it. I'm they're, they're gonna have, uh, yeah, I'm new grips um, for this year. And uh, I just, I absolutely love these. Incredibly forgiving for a boy. It, I'm incredibly forgiving. I have seen uh, you play them before, yeah. and you keep going back and forth, yeah. and I always, I never know why. I don't know. Quit asking. Yeah, I don't you know. Hit him, you hit him so well. Uh, yeah, two through nine, though. Two through nine. Yeah. So, uh, definitely, uh, I got them from my cousin, uh, uh, A.D. Mendoza gave these to me. Loyal, and, uh, loyal follower. Loyal, one of the first, probably. And, um, yeah, 
just absolutely love them. And they're in great shape. Yeah. For being, I think they came out in 2000. Yeah, so once again, those are the Mizuno MP33. Mizuno MP33. Those are, those are blades, so those are lower handicap player yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, I mean, you have to be able to hit the ball somewhat consistently. Exhibit A. Exhibit A. I have no business playing. <laughs> oh, yes, he does. <laughs> no business. You've seen the videos. Um, Let's jump to the wedges. Yeah, so new addition to the bag this year. This club is sexy. It is. It looks nice. It definitely looks nice. Um, because I don't play the MP33 pitching wedge, I went out and I got uh, a brand new Mizuno. I believe this is the S8, yeah, S18 uh, 46 yeah. degree uh, wedge. So this is my pitching wedge that I'm going to use this year. It has the uh, Golf Pride multi-core grip, uh, wedge flex, true temper wedge flex, uh, shaft, and it is absolutely beautiful. Oh. I love this. I love the look of this club. Um, obviously being blue, I just think it looks neat. Yeah, I don't think excited. I've ever been more excited for you to hit a club just because it looks It looks cool. It looks that yeah. cool. No, it's it's yeah, Mizuno know they know what they're doing. For yeah. Sure. So anyways, that's in the bag. That's my pitching wedge. And then I have three wedges, um, Cleveland wedges. They are the RTX threes, so they're a year old. They also have golf um, pride multi-core, multi-compound, whatever it is. Grips with the wedge, true temper wedge flex shafts. And that's 50, uh, 54, and 58. Love these wedges. If you're counting clubs right now, Real I think. Real quick. Okay. Talk about what's on your grip. Oh. Uh, that's kind of cool. You don't see these this in a lot of clubs. Yeah, I don't know if the, the camera can pick that up, but these have the, uh, the Golf Pride Align grips. So it's supposed to help you be uh, more consistent when you, uh, when you grip the club. Um, so like line up your knuckles on Yeah, them. yeah, and I like them. I definitely like them for my um, for my wedges. I haven't really gotten a chance to use them much, but I do like the fact when you're kind of around the greens, you kind of know exactly where your hands are on yeah. the grip. Um, but yeah, if I really like them, I'm just going to redo all my clubs uh, with these uh, grips on mine. But yeah. I think, I think yeah, they're cool. cool. They're cool. addition. Yeah, they're different. Yeah. Something to try out for the season. And um, the thing I love about these grips, golf pride grips in general, um, they last forever. Yeah. And you can just clean them up like a little soap, uh, and, and you can just wash them up. They look brand new. And uh, yeah, and they make a really, really good grip, no plug there. But uh, they do they do work really well. I yeah. Like but yeah, what I was saying, I got like 15, almost 16 clubs in the bag. Yeah, that's not legal. Chad. It's not legal. You can't do that. You can't do that. But I don't care. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to take, I mean, I could easily take this two iron out of the bag, but and the three iron, but I'm not gonna do it. So I'm gonna call him out every video. I like looking at him. All right, so putter. Yeah, so my putter, uh, like last year, it is the Scotty Cameron Go Low Five. It is, uh, it's actually really short. I've got it cut down to 31 and a half inches. Um, it's Tour Sensor Golf Pride Grip, and I love, I just love this putter. Could not take it out of the bag. I've got. I've got a couple like really nice like bed and army putters here at home, and I thought I would play. I thought I'd play those a little bit more, but I just I love this putter. It's oh, it's consistent. It's so consistent for you. It is so consistent. Also, the, don't let them brush through the fact it is really short. It is crazy. Uh, I putt right handed every so often. We'll switch clubs. Yeah. It's amazing like how short it does feel. Right. It works for you. Yeah, and I don't know. Um, I've always had a traditional like length putter like 34, 35 inches, and uh, I was really skeptical with this thing, but uh, yeah, it's it's really paid off. And, yeah, it's helped my game, for sure. For sure, is there anything else in your bag you feel like people might want to know about, or maybe they'll see you pull out, like maybe a range finder, yeah, or, um, or anything like yeah. that specifically? Yeah, I've got, a, um, I've got a really old range finder uh, somewhere in here, with everything else. Um, this is the Bushnell Pro 1600 range finder. Um, I've had this for probably four or five years now. Um, super old, but like just one of the best range finders I think you can have because it takes a, uh, what's this? A six nine bolt? Nine bolt? Six bolt? Is it six bolt? I think, I think it's a nine, nine bolt. bolt, yeah. I think it's a nine bolt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Nine bolt battery, um, and it, I don't know, it's just, yeah. Did this yourself? Mine has a nine bolt. Okay. Same thing. I love it though. Maybe know? it's not that unique or cool. Uh, I've seen many range finders that don't have nine yeah. bolts. Yeah. Yeah. So.
So I like it. It's just a nice, easy uh, range finder to use. Okay. Uh, so that's my range finder, and you said what? what? What's your golf ball that you play? Golf ball of choice. Probably this Callaway Truvis is probably my favorite golf ball to use. Um, yeah, it's probably my favorite one. Yeah, I mean, play, play Callaway golf balls probably the most. Obviously, Kobe wants to play. Yeah, Chrome Soft is kind of the way to go. I will say when we're out, my kids find what they call as a soccer ball. They know it goes to Chad. Yeah, that's probably his ball ball of choice. I would say at least. Oh, for sure. But no one's gonna turn down a Kobe one. Or... Well, obviously. Free, so. No, no, yeah, for sure. All right. That's Anything else? Time. No, I'm excited. Like I'm excited for this year to yeah. go out and play. Um, I really want to play the same irons all year. Fingers that is crossed. that is my goal. Fingers crossed. Because last year I had the same goal. Didn't make it. Couldn't make it. Four sets later. No. So this is Chad's bag. Uh, if you have any questions, comment below. Let him know. We'd love to answer them. Uh, up here, once again, there'll be a clip, something you can click on, jump over to check out my bag. But hopefully you enjoyed it. Why don't you tell them what you wanted to do, Chad? Yeah, I mean, if you like the video, you can smash the like Smash button. it, baby! Smash it! Mm. Do it for Chad. Do it for Chad's bag. Do it for that sexy 46-degree wedge. Hey, guys. Hope do you it. enjoyed it. Yeah, thanks, guys. See you later. See ya.